Hello again, this is Rajesh Chatterjee, founder and CEO of Delipad IT. Delipad is your authorized Salesforce implementation partner. So we have started a series where we are going to learn how Salesforce as a CRM can be a beneficial for a business, all right? And then we are going to learn how you can configure Salesforce CRM by yourself from scratch, just with drag and drop to help a business to automate their business process, all right? So before we start the technical things, let's understand functionalities or functionally how CRM works for a business. All right. See, business means what? Business means either it is selling a product or it is selling some services. Like we are a business, we are selling two of our services. We sell, uh, like we help um, companies to implement Salesforce CRM. We also have another a brand called Dynapad where we train people on Salesforce CRM. Now, in order to sell these services, right, or if we, let's say we have another software product which we are also selling to the market. In order to sell these products or the services in the market, what's the very first thing you think is needed for a business? Guess what? Branding. See, branding nowadays is, is very, very important for any business to grow, right? So branding means what? Branding means so nowadays, if you want to buy a product, let's say you want to buy a laptop, right? Or a phone, right? What are you going to do? You're going to search and find that we have companies like, you know, uh, you know, Lenovo, uh, Apple, who used to, uh, you know, uh, manufacture the laptops, right? So these companies have done their branding, right? Where you know that what is the best company that gives you the laptop the, or the mobile phone, right? So now if let's say you are trying to help a small business or mid-sized business and that business has to go and reach out to their target audience the very first thing that they have to do is the branding right everybody should know what exactly you are selling and everybody should know what quality you are giving to, to to your customers and in order to do that we have to do the marketing correct so marketing is the very first thing that a company should do in order to grow their sell in order to scale their business Sales doesn't happen over the night, right? It's all how you have done your branding. It's all how you have, you know, maintained your brand in the market because you have competitors in the market. Why the, your customer will choose you because of your branding. Okay. Now, why I'm saying you all this, how Salesforce is coming into this picture, I'll tell you. Now, the branding can be done in different, different ways. The effective one is digital marketing, right? In nowadays, right? If it's all about digital, right? So, uh, now, now like digital marketing can be done in a couple of ways. Either you shoot emails to the customer, people read your email, they spam you, they sometimes read your email and then finally they get back to you and say that I want to buy your product. You do your marketing in social media, right? You know, I was I was trying to buy a, a shoes, okay, a few days back and, you know, I, I somewhere Googled, I went to that company website and uh, when I tried to, uh, I, at the time of checking out, I actually did not check out. So what happened is whenever I'm opening opening up my my Facebook or Instagram, right? I'm seeing that particular shoes ad. Getting me right? It's it's the branding that's called marketing, right? So any company, if they want to grow their sales, they have to do a solid marketing. Now, marketing can be done through email, through SMS, through uh, you know websites, like through landing pages or through social media, right? So see, so what happened is like let's say you are doing your marketing in email, in social media, in 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 SMS or in web or multiple mul multiple different different systems salesforce here will help you a lot why because salesforce has a product called marketing cloud this product basically they, uh, when i say marketing there are two different types of marketing one is b2c marketing where you as a business trying to market your product for the end consumer one is called b2b marketing where you as a business is trying to sell or market your product for the business for the businesses who can buy your services or product Right. So B2B and B2C, there are two types of marketing. Salesforce has basically marketing cloud as a product where you have something called, uh, you know, SFMC. Right. That's the product which helps companies to do the B2C marketing. Right. The uh, and we have another product called Pardot. Pardot is another product which helps companies to do the B2B branding marketing. Right. And Salesforce as a marketing cloud, as a, as a system, it's even we are also using Salesforce for our uh, marketing purpose. Right. And we are, we have experienced that as an end user. We also help customers to implement marketing cloud for their business. Right. So we have seen both sides of the coin. Right. And what we have seen is like Salesforce is, first of all, it's very easy to, you know, configure, uh, you know, your marketing journey can be configured in just few, few hours. Right. If you know Salesforce and we are going to learn that thing actually in this series. 
So it's it's first of all it's very easy to configure, and then you yourself as a non-technical person also can easily do the uh, you know do the setup by yourself. So uh, Salesforce has this two product which we are going to learn in depth uh, in this particular series, right? Where uh, B two C and B two B two B customer can be targeted through the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Right, so you don't have to worry about uh, one system which is doing the email marketing, another system which is doing the SMS marketing, another system which is doing the social media marketing. Right, so you don't have to maintain different different login. It's just Salesforce which is actually having all your marketing under one single umbrella. So that's the benefit of using Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Right, uh, once your marketing is done, basically once your marketing is done, let's say you have done a solid branding, you have spent a good amount of money on the branding. Marketing is all about spending money. Okay, it takes a lot of money to you know do the marketing right so business has spent a lot of money on the marketing what is next next is the sales right so <clears throat> whatever marketing you have done whatever leads you have gathered now your sales executive has to come and do the sales and guess what salesforce has a very good product called sales cloud right so sales cloud is an offering from salesforce which actually helps the business and their sales executive to track each and every customers to track each and every leads and let me tell you this sales is something that doesn't happen over the night okay once you go through this uh, next set of videos and understand the entire series you will see one thing that sales doesn't happen over the night it takes time okay and you need a solid foolproof system which can track each and every activity that is happening in the sales journey and guess what sales cloud is that product offered by salesforce which can track each and everything and that is pretty much configurable okay if you know how sales cloud works you as a non it person also can do this configuration easily by yourself okay so maybe in the next videos i'm going to show you how to do this configuration but sales cloud will help your business your sales executive to get the sales done and they have all the informations about the customer about the activity that has been done with the customer in just a finger trip right so marketing does the marketing part sales cloud takes care of the sales part what is next next is service service is one of the very most important thing for a business sometimes you know business they make money out of the service sometimes it's a free service that they have to give if you do not give a proper service to your customer definitely you cannot get more customers right because service you have to give in no time and guess what here i have seen lot of uh, businesses they they do struggle here in the service part why because they don't have a proper you know ticket management system and the main problem that i have seen i actually have implemented uh, this this product called service cloud offered by salesforce for many of my customers right what i have seen is you know uh, let's say the customer they are using a ticket ma ticket management tool because there are multiple ticket management tools available in the market they are using it so what happens is their data is is segregated into different different systems they have their marketing uh, you know system that is happening running somewhere they have their sales funnel that is happening in a different software they have their ticket management tool that's again a different software correct so this is where the problem starts in right so i as a uh, you know employee or a sales executive if i have to log in or as a service executive if i have to log into multiple multiple system to see the customer data to see the customer activities to to see the customers concern like you know tickets that customers are raising that's very difficult guess what salesforce offers a product called service cloud service cloud is a proper ticket management system that salesforce provide and it's a very very useful and uh, easily configurable uh, software or the system that salesforce offers okay so if i start from the beginning salesforce offers marketing cloud which does the marketing which tracks each and every channel where exactly you are doing the marketing right and then once your marketing is done salesforce also have a, another product called sales cloud which tracks all your sales journey and once your sales is done in the same database where you have the customer data salesforce offers another cloud called service cloud getting me is where where the service part the ticket right from the beginning right when the ticket gets raised by the customer till the ticket gets closed by the service executive every single thing gets tracked in the service cloud right so it's it's one single system which is exactly you know uh, managing your marketing managing your sales and managing your service data in fact your customers if they want to give a feedback it should come to your salesforce 
right? So you as a business uh, executive, when you try to log in, you just have to log in in one single system where, where you get to see all the data. All right. So theoretically, I have explained like what are the offerings that Salesforce, you know, brings in the table. Now, in the next set of videos, we are going to learn all this marketing cloud, sales cloud, service cloud one by one. And I'm going to show you how you as a non-technical person also can easily configure this by yourself. And, you know, you can integrate your business or you can do it for, for your customer also. It's very easy to configure. I'm going to show you how to do it one by one. If you want to learn these three product marketing cloud, sales cloud, service cloud, and if you want to do this configuration by yourself, right, as a uh, maybe you're coming from IT or non IT background, doesn't matter. If you want to learn these configurations by yourself, follow this YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to talk about this in the next set of videos. All right. See you in the next video.